Hello and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my illustration was inspired by Paul David Tripp's book, New Morning Mercies. And today is September 1st. When I walk in the garden in the morning, it's a good time to yank up weeds because the ground is moist and it's just a little bit easier to pull them out. Well, this morning when I got a hold of a maple seedling and gave it a tug, I was happily surprised when the whole root came out with it. And it gave me a chance to look at it and see just how long that root was. Now, if you pull out as many weeds as I do, you know that there's different types of root. One type is a, called a tap root, and you'd find this on a dandelion. And that tap root grows way down deep into the ground. And if I just yank it out, I'm going to leave a good portion of the root in the ground and it will grow back. Another type of root is a fibrous root, and you'd find that on, in crabgrass. And this has many short roots that grow shallow into the ground. And when you yank that out, even if you leave a little bit of it back in the ground, it's not going to grow back. It's hard to uproot a healthy plant because that's just what those roots are meant to do is to grab hold of the ground and stabilize the plant in one spot. They also draw up water and the nutrients and minerals they need to grow. If you're a gardener, you learn pretty early on the importance of taking care of the roots so that when you dig them up to transplant them or divide a plant, you know to be very careful not to injure those roots or allow them to dry out. So if you have a plant that's not doing too well, you might want to think about its roots. Has it been moved recently? Have those roots been injured in any way? If they have, make sure they have a lot of water, water than daily, especially on sunny days. Or they might be getting too much water and sitting in water. Roots don't like to do that unless they're meant to be in a bog. And if a plant is growing in a pot, it can also, it can get something called pot bound if there's not enough space for the roots to grow. So then they have to be repotted into a larger container with nice fresh soil. And I can't believe we haven't mentioned anything about the importance of soil, but that's another topic for another time. Today in his devotions, Paul Tripp starts off by saying, don't be disheartened when you feel weak. By grace, your savior lives inside you and he is your strength. And then he sends us over to Ephesians 3 for extra reading. And there it says, And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And that term, rooted, captured my attention and reminded me about the importance of roots to the health of a plant. If a plant hasn't got good, strong roots, it'll become vulnerable, and it won't be able to remain standing after a windstorm. It can easily dry out in hot weather, and just won't be able to stand up against an attack from insects or disease or extraordinary weather and produce flowers 
and fruit or vegetables and seeds and then multiply. Just like plants, if we want to grow and produce good fruit, we have to establish good, deep, healthy roots. And when we spend time with the Lord and grasp how wide and long and high and deep His love is for us, then we will have the strength to do what God has called us to do each day. And here's the good news. God is the ultimate gardener. And if we plant ourselves in his word, he will provide exactly what we need so we can grow and be fruitful. So thank you for joining me today at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope this has been an encouragement to you. And if it has, could you please give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and in that way, YouTube will help us to spread the good news. So thank you and God bless.